Hey y'all, I'm going to be reacting to Fate Grand Order of Zetai Maju Sensen episode 15, and I'm going to start this reaction in 1 0 go. And Ampelex. Alright. Funny's logo, yeah. Alright. It always gets me more pumped up and watching an episode. Alright, and. You know. That's so. Probably gonna get an. Probably gonna see a tragic event. Oh, whoa. Good for a second. I thought I was gonna delve into her past for a bit. Hmm. Whoa! What in the... Okay. Things are escalating really, really quickly. <laughs> Dang, though. And that is the perfect way of placing an opening, too. Just giving us some intrigue to then have an opening so that we can all ponder the information. <laughs> Although, in saying that, just wonder what the approach the episode's gonna take. I wonder if we're gonna get to see the past a bit, or is it just gonna go straight to the fight? That's what I'm wondering. Although considering this is a type moon work, we're probably not gonna get to see the past and it's just gonna focus on the fight, which I don't mind that either. At all. Although hell, if we do get a flashback, I'd probably be celebrating too. <laughs> Alright. I just wonder if we're gonna actually get to see more tricks from Mashu though, and if Fujimura's Mara's gonna have to be forced to use another command seal. Cause he sort of did have to use one when they were going up against Tish Ishigal, so just wondering. Oh no, but there's still Ishikawa left. Dark Ishikawa. <laughs> oh my. Whoa. Dang, to think he had that in storage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the call is lit. <laughs> oh my. Everything moves as smooth as butter. Slipping off of someone's finger. Wow. Fuck, I thought she was gonna actually get the kill blow for a sec. Okay, that is a badass line right there. Okay, for a second I thought that sound effect could have been on his bones. I'm glad it wasn't though. Hmm. 
Wait, what? No. Fuck. Ganime, having those flowers there actually elevates the mood a lot more, too. Poison, wasn't that three goddesses, though? Oh, f the fake Inkiru. Okay. Okay, good, good. <laughs> okay, for a second I thought it was gonna actually do some damage to Fujimaru. Looks like they're either defeating Kingu. Or what? Okay. Wait. Then King of Savage, <laughs> jeez. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay. I didn't expect this episode to have this much escalation, but all right. like that effect just pans away right when we're about to see it so that we can actually listen and okay oh, man <laughs> yo and it's even brutal too because now civilians are actually being killed too not just soldiers intensifying the gravity of the situation And just the creepiness of them having like a childlike sound is making it be more creepier. Ah. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? The humans are like fucking monsters. <laughs> oh my. All right. Here's a kill. I swear, they just have the upper hand. Okay, let's hope he has some kind of epic plan in place. Wait, what? Is he gonna... Okay, I wasn't expecting the Yogi to say something like that! But then again, that just goes to show you how dire the situation is. Nah, he really... Oh. 
Okay. Could it be like the seven deadly sins or oh, not okay, never mind. Okay, so we've got a shot. They're like mass produced incubus, then it's a lot of power to be packing. I like how it just masterfully dodges the question. Center Sentinel. He'd react the way. Gotta say, even though we didn't see much of CD aside from a few moments here and there, that actually tells you a lot about her character, her selflessness, and her bravery. That was actually good. We, get to see, we actually got to see a bit of Gilgamesh's soft side there. I love moments like that. What the? No! Oh! Jeez! Okay, now that is just... That is just cruel. You know, I'm, that's one of the few times I'm glad I didn't see what happened. <laughs> Alright. At least she saved that boy before they were going to harm it, that child. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, is he gonna... Okay, for a second I thought he might rip Fujimaru's arm off. Oof. I can let that didn't happen. So let's see to you.
Might as well try to talk it out. Hopefully it can work. Wait, was that Gil who did that? Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. What the? The hell? Whoa, whoa! Okay, I didn't see that coming to King Gil. <laughs> Holy fuck! Okay, um, I was gonna rate this a 9, but the final scene, I'm gonna, it bumps it up to a 10 out of 10. Fuck it! That was so fucking epic right there. Alright, Cloworks, you're doing fantastic work. Y'all get double thumbs up. Damn! Just dang, that was amazing. This episode brought it all. You got a lot of plot progression. Gorgon was eliminated in the first portion of the episode. Then you get straight into the conflict with all those Lemu creatures. And you have Kingo being betrayed all in the span of a single episode. So this episode had large doses of plot progression. And aside from that, I gotta say, it was kind of sad too to see Merlin disappear and also Anna die too. So I had the emotional punch too. That's why I thought I did fan fucking tastic from the story standpoint. Let's see if there's anything after the credits. <gasps> Aww. And then aside from that, I gotta say, from a character standpoint, it was fantastic actually. To like see those little touches like when Anna fell down, you actually see Ritsu, Ritsu Fujimaru actually give like the flower head thing and then put it towards where Anna fell. That was also a nice touch right there. It gave it a sense of like heart. And that's another thing I really liked about this episode. Just got to you emotionally. Then aside from that, I also love the sequence where you actually see... Gilgamesh extremely worried about CDU too. That was really, really sweet. I like that. Seeing how much he cares for like every individual person. So that was also another thing that I liked about this episode. And you get to see a bit more of CDU too when she actually was win willingly wanted to go help protect people. That's another thing I liked. Also showing off of bravery. So this episode had a lot of fantastic character moments or Ishtars and Quisingtals. Anger when they were seeing those monsters kill the other people. Moments like that were fantastic. They really got my blood pumping. I thought it was amazing. And that's what I thought from the story standpoint. This episode was fan fucking tastic right there. Like just every piece of writing was there for a purpose. And that's why I thought this episode did great from a story standpoint. Then on top of that, the animation and art quality. Oh, beautiful! It was it was a glorious masterpiece right here. My goodness, gotta like even like the sequences where the monsters were like killing people. Look, it was well animated. It looked painful, and the sound effects, like for the sound effects to have that much effect on me, on the moments where it didn't show some people getting their limbs cut off. I mean, other moments it did. But in other moments it didn't. That tells you a lot. That not it isn't just the animation, the writing team that deserves credit. It's the sound effect people that deserve the credit, and the voice actors and actresses too. They deserve a standing ovation. And that's why I thought this episode was ten out of ten worthy, y'all. Oh, that got me so pumped up. So, anyways, y'all, 
These are my thoughts on Fate Grand Order Zetai Maju Sense in episode 15. Be sure to comment down your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the video, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back from work. So I'm definitely going to be there reacting to the next episode, providing nothing in my life randomly happens. All right, y'all. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a great and safe day. Be sure to subscribe, comment, and rate it, and I'll see you guys later, hopefully. All right, y'all. Have a great and safe day. Bye-bye.